Hey guys, Dean here. In today's CS2 video, I'm going to be running through a console commands guide, which is going to be kind of like a semi-complete guide showing you some of the most popular and useful commands for Counter-Strike 2. Some of them are for performance, some of them are cheat commands, which you can use in offline mode as long as you're not on multiplayer. So let's jump into it. So first of all, we want to go to escape, press the settings menu in the top left, and then on game, you want to make sure enable developer console is set to yes. Then press the button, which is below the escape, key on your keyboard directly below it called the tilde key and this will open up the console now please note that i'm not going to show you every single command in this video because it would go on for absolutely forever but these are the most useful commands and sub commands for you to use so the first one is going to be none other than sv cheats one which on source 2 and cs2 is sv cheats true which does the exact same thing so what this does is it toggles on the cheat mode which you can only use in single player because of course cheat commands cannot be used on cs2's multiplayer mode of course and this command is complex completely safe and legal because it's actually a command added to the game by Valve. So even though a lot of these commands will only work in single player, they are all official commands. So they won't get you banned, you just can't use them online. So that will enable cheats, aka allow game changing settings. And then from there, we can do some other things. One useful command you can type is SV grenade trajectory prac pip review true. Now that sounds kind of like complex and you're probably wondering why it does. Well. When we hold down a grenade, it will show us the actual arc of the trajectory of where it's going to land. And it'll also show us a little mini camera on the left showing exactly where it's going to land. So depending where we aim, if we aim high, we can see exactly the precise place it will land. Now we could see the actual trajectory in CSGO, but we couldn't see it as complex as this, which is actually pretty incredible. Now it also works on any type of grenade. So it'll also work on incendiary and we can use that and it'll show when you toss it and where it lands. And we can use that to actually see where the nade lands. Now, a lot of people do this on new maps so they can see what are the best nade spots and throws. And then you see like guides on the best nade throw spots and locations. That's usually how they do it. So that's the command that you want to use to do that. Now for round timer, we can type in MP round time and the value. So by default is three, but we could also set it to five. And what that will do, it will change the time that the round actually lasts in game. So if you want to change the time that it takes to finish a round, that's the command you would use. Right now, I have an ammo counter, which you can see on the right hand side i can change that by typing in sv infinite ammo and then one and now when i shoot it just constantly remains at 20 without having to reload we can also type in god and that will toggle god mode which basically lets us have invulnerability to a certain extent because obviously if we're planting the bomb and it explodes we're still going to die of course now another command which is kind of better than god is buddha if you go buddha space true and i just type god zero to turn god mode off i'll try and show it you basically what buddha mode does is it makes you kind of have god mode to a certain degree but instead of just being on max 100 hp constantly when you lose health, you will lose health until you get to one health point, and then you'll just stick on one HP. So you can't die, you can't go further below one HP. Let me just see if it actually works in CS2, because I've not tested it before. So we'll let the bot shoot us. We're at 78 health, and now we're constantly at one HP. And we have these crosses on here, and we're still not going to die. But for some reason, I can't actually damage the enemy bot. I think everything's glitched out. Let's put God to one, and let's put Buddha to false. And now we can kill the enemy. So it's a little bit glitchy and you can see even with God mode on, I got hit by a flash directly and died from the collision. Of course, a lot of the commands in CS2 are near enough the same as CSGO, even though it's on another engine, Source, and now it's on Source 2. They have carried over a lot of the commands, but some of them have changed. One command is also R, draw skybox false. If you do that, it will just completely change the skybox by just theoretically just disabling it. And then we can change that to true again and it'll toggle it on to the normal skybox. We can also do R, draw view model, zero that will disable your character's gun you can see the traces of the weapon but you can't see the actual view model so you can see i'm firing my gun but you obviously can't see my gun and obviously we can also change that to one to re-enable it and then toggle the gun back on again also another one is no clip we can just fly around the map that's exactly the same as what it was on csgo so we can just no clip around the map you can use this obviously just to fly around the map note that you do have to enable this every single round because it will automatically turn off what we could do is we could bind this to a key so binding any command to a key you would just type in bind and then the key you want to bind it to i'll use v is a common unused key and then you type the command you want to bind it to so bind v no clip now when i press v it will toggle me into no clip mode whenever i toggle it and then I can just get the drop on this guy. So that's how you use no clip, and you can use that bind command to actually bind any command in game that you want to bind to a certain key.
Now, MP Buy Anywhere 1 will let you buy weapons on any part of the map. So if you enable that to 1, you don't have to be in T or CT spawn to actually purchase weapons. So if you forgot to purchase something in a bot game and you don't want to have to rush back to spawn, that command will mean that you just don't have to. CQ Net Graph. That basically toggles the net graph, which is in the top right of your screen. Then you have CL. Anything with CL just means client. CL show FPS 1. That gives you the FPS. You can see over the minimap at the side, in red text, it says the FPS my game's running in and also the name of the map that we're playing on. FPS max is basically the max FPS. By default, it's 400 anyway, so you don't really want to change it. But you could change it to like 60. That's not really the same as using VSync, but you get the idea. Now, I'm not going to disconnect because I'm actually in a game. But if you just type in disconnect, it will quit to the main menu and back out the game you're currently in and also another one used to be exit which would quit your game and just close the window entirely but in cs2 that's now changed to quit so if you type in exit and you don't know why you can't use the command it's now being changed to quit and that will completely close your game just like pressing that alt and f4 so don't let anyone trick you into thinking it's a good idea to type there sensitivity is also for basically the sensitivity of your mouse so mine's on 2.5 right now i could change that to 4.5 it just basically changes your sensitivity settings volume is just for the game volume so you can type in volume 100 and it'll make the game louder noticeably we also have how to bind a purchase so i could type in bind i'll bind the n key actually bind n and then i would type in buy and then the weapon i want to buy so i could type in orb if we just type in end round, which is another command you can use to end the round, what this would do is if I press the N key, it will automatically buy me an AWP. I could just drop it, press N again, and I could just buy the AWP. Now, it doesn't really matter where I am on the map because I've enabled the map-wide purchasing command, but you can do this with anything. So you could change the command where it says AWP to any gun in the game. So you could change it to M4, M4A1 or M4A4, AK-47, P90, MP7 or Diffuser for an example. You get the idea you basically use the weapon code and replace it with what you want to buy now some people want to do bunny hopping and they do this by binding the mouse wheel so you could type in bind and then you want to type in wheel up plus jump this will bind when you scroll on your mouse wheel up to jump like that and then you can also if we press up to clone the command then i can change mouse wheel up to mouse wheel down and press enter and then down jumps as well so technically you could use this to try and b hop so that's how people try to b-hop. Now, I'm not great at b-hopping anymore, but that's how you could bind a key like the mouse wheel to jumping up and down. Also, if you see in the bottom left, you can see the date right now and the build number. You can actually toggle that as well. So R show build info and then false. That disables that text in the bottom left. I'll just show you again to enable it kill will literally just slay you so i was the last in that round so it's just lost me the round by slaying me but that's just slaying yourself and then also cl another client command draw hood false that disables your whole hood so if you did want to like for an example create a really nice screenshot with like one of your skins you would do that and then press the f key to inspect and now you could take like a really nice steam screenshot of it so that's how you would do that and then of course you could just change cl draw hood to true now you can also bind that command as well so you could easily draw your hood based on a binded command that's also really useful and also one i like is cl show team equipment zero or one that basically toggles the grenades and the weapon icons above the head so it kind of shows their equipment and then also you can do bot kick and then it'll say bots kick from the console that's because this command you can't actually put a name on it actually it just kicks the whole team you could also type in bot kick all basically does the same thing and then if i want to add a bot i type in bot add that'll add a random bot based on the team balancing so if there's one on my team it'll add a bot to the other team i could also do bot add ct or bot add t and that will add bots specific to the game so that is this really simple cs2 console commands guide i hope this video is useful if it was make sure to like the video subscribe and leave any comments or questions you have down below and make sure to check out the channel because we've got a ton of cs2 videos and guides that you won't find anywhere right now on youtube since cs2 is quite new so thanks for watching i'll see you real soon